Oh my goodness, the tension is there. We first met Millicent Simmons as Reagan Abbott in the edge of your seat thriller, A Quiet Place, starring alongside John Krasinski and Emily Blunt. And now she's back in the much anticipated sequel, hitting theaters March 20th. She joins us now with her interpreter, Lynette Taylor. Thank you all for being here. It's good to see you both. Yes. Congratulations. Well, thank you for having me again. It's so good to see both of you. We loved this movie. We, loved we were it. sitting next to each other, freaking out. <laughs> you had the big premiere on Sunday night. So how did that go? It was huge. It was a huge success last night. Everyone was there and it was so wonderful to be reunited and see everyone again. And everyone looks so beautiful. John Krasinski has said that he called you before you actually, I think it was before you ever read the script, kind of encouraging you that, hey, the movie's gonna ride on your shoulders a lot more and that you were ready. What were some of the things that he said to you that really stuck out? He did, he called me um, after a few months when we finished A Quiet Place. He, after he came out, he called me and you know, we felt like, oh, how could, you, how could you follow up this movie? It was so perfect. Why would you have a sequel? But John called and it was about a 45 minute conversation. He said, just M Millie, tell me what you think about this. And when I heard that it was much more action oriented and uh, so emotionally intense, of course I had to do it. I mean, I like the sequel maybe even more than the first yeah, movie, which, which never is rare, ever right? happens. Yeah. I mean, you're working yeah, with John Krasinski and Emily Blunt again. What's your favorite thing about working with the couple? Well, there's so many things. John, I, John, I just love the way he directs. He he comes in with willing to explore, and he's always asking the talent, "What would you do in this situation? What feels real to you?" And Emily just brings a sense of humor. You know, she always brings lightness to the stage. She brought in a fake gun one time. I mean, really, that, so she's a bit of a prankster, <laughs> and she's just wonderful. To yeah, you obviously spent a lot of time with Emily Blunt and during some of the most intense scenes, and and just reuniting with her. Do you have this mother-daughter type vibe, or is it more like, hey, big sister or friend? What's the the kind of relationship? Yeah, um, I mean, for sure, it's a mother and daughter relationship. It feels like our friendship is based on that because of the I, because of their film, and also we our families know each other. We, I've met their children, I, and so Noah's family, my family, and their family feels like we're with this one big extended family now. And they're such kind people, both on set and off set. I just love her. That's so great. Yeah. Now this movie was more action heavy than the first. What was the hardest thing you had to do physically? Run. I ran so much. All we, all I was doing was running every day. Um, I had to make sure that I ate well, that I rested well, that I kept healthy, so I would, could maintain the, the intensity. It helps that I'm young too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and you're barefoot a lot. At least it appeared to be the case. Absolutely. Which, like, yeah. What do you, what do you do? What's the foot care regimen there? <laughs> well. I mean, you, they, I, they had to put fake blood and fake dirt on it, and then you're walking on the train tracks, and so we'd have to wash off the dirt and make sure there weren't any cuts and things. And every weekend, I'd go to a spa. I mean, whatever oh, you need to nice. get an excuse yeah. for a good petty, right? I mean, I mean, you really <laughs> carry a lot of this movie. You bring your character to the next level. What's your favorite thing about playing Reagan? Uh, it's so amazing to be back with Regan. Um, I mean, it's a very emotional moment for me. It's such a rare opportunity to be able to come back and re-enter a world or re-enter a story. I just love her, I love her confidence and her perseverance. I mean, you know, some people aren't a fan of her strong-willed personality, but I do, and I wish I was more like that in my daily life. Yeah, and your character is obviously deaf in the movie, you are in real life as well, and of course, sign language has worked into the script. Sign language is on screen. I would imagine that being on a movie set where people are speaking all the time in sign language would be a really special experience. It was, and it is. We had an ASL coach and a sign language interpreter on set, so people were always asking them for how do you sign this and asking for more history about American Sign Language and deaf culture, and it was really very, very, very important to see that. And uh, people learn more than just their lines in sign language, so we could have more conversations and get to know each other more intimately. It was very nice. That's so wonderful. What is your message to other young people out there in the deaf community who want to pursue acting? What would I say? Keep doing it and do whatever makes you happy. Just make sure that, you know, that just take it easy and go take acting classes, meet the right people and uh, people who aren't supporting you, just let them go. That's my advice to people. One final thing quickly. I, t I remember talking to you, what, a year ago, two years ago, something like that. This, this whole thing was kind of taking off for you. What is the most significant change in your life today, the thing that you love the most 
that is so different and unpredictable, something you could have never expected compared to your life back then on day one? Oh my gosh, it, I mean, it is a life change. It is a life change. It's affected me in school. It's affected my family relationships, my friend relationships. I'm traveling more, I'm meeting so many more interesting people. Uh, I'm now having to take school online so I can stay ahead and hopefully graduate early. It's really been such a wonderful, fun experience for me. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. you're so good in this. Everyone, you have to check it out. <laughs> a Quiet Place Part Two hits theaters on March 20th.